I really, really enjoyed working with Rocky just because like he was the first really A-list celebrity to kind of take, take a, a chance on me. And we were in the studio for like two hours, two and a half hours, and he was literally just rattling off like punchlines and like freestyling. We talked about like Tame Impala and like runway fashion and like Virgil. We talked about loads of stuff and it was really just cool to get to hang out with him for a second because he's a, he's a cultural dude. For the first like three or four years of my music making, music production, I was just using my laptop and the same pair of uh, headphones and I still make the majority of music that way. I only just moved into a studio literally like a week ago. I think for this first album at least it was like a conscious decision to, to keep that workflow because I didn't want to, to suddenly feel like I was in this big expensive environment and like the music had strayed so far from what it is which is like bedroom like producer music. If we're talking about what it literally is that I do, I produce music in my bedroom and it's just like, I feel like that term's been sort of spiked now to sort of mean he's less serious. Like an insult almost, but um, I don't think it has to be as long as the music's really good. It doesn't really warrant being like a label anymore. It's just where you happen to make the music, I guess. Somebody like Skrillex, you know, who started making music in his basement, like, is he a basement producer or did he produce like some of the biggest pop songs <laughs> this year, last year? It's a collection of some of the most relevant people in pop culture right now. The most important thing about every track on the album is that it's a coming together. It's like a meeting halfway. So I don't think it's dirty to say like, yeah, the, the album, you know, it pretty heavily relies on its features, but also I feel like they're relying on me to kind of push them into new territory. Mm -hmm.